Once again, good morning, buenos dias, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, I am Marlon Bouvier Vargas, SVD. I am a missionary to Spain and I've been a priest only for the past two years. I was ordained during the time of pandemic and until now I'm still navigating, <laughs> learning how to preside mass in English. So pardon me. Because for the past two years after my ordination, I was immediately sent to Spain because I couldn't come here to spend my home leave or my vacation and celebrate Thanksgiving. So, pinag-aaralan ko pa rin po mag In fact, pangatlo, pang limang beses ko pa lang itong mag ng English. So, I'm a missionary to Spain and for the past two years, I've been serving our community there as a parish priest in four different parishes. And at the same time, as our... Uh, as my assignment in our congregation, our community, I am a delegate for youth and vocation ministry. And having this role as a youth and vocation ministry coordinator, I had the opportunity to, to have a meaningful conversation with a few young people in the church. The mission in Spain is very challenging. Uh, marami na po ang hindi rin nagsisimba. Lalong lalo yung mga kabataan, especially the youth. But knowing that they are not frequently attending the celebration, so what I did was to go out and have a conversation with them. And I find it interesting that there are three things that I often heard from them or three things that they frequently ask from me. These three things are something about having a role model, someone uh, they look up to, and second, something about freedom. And thirdly, something about self-worth. I believe that these three, these three things are not only life questions of the young people in our church. I believe that all of us, lifelong, we deal with these three things. You know, we long for someone who could inspire us. We long for inner freedom and we long for embracing our self-worth. And I invite you all to reflect on our gospel today, particularly on what does Jesus offer us concerning these three things that I mentioned. Our gospel today begins with Jesus saying, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. Jesus invites his apostles and us to be reminded that to seek a role model a teacher entails longing for a teacher, someone who value a life-giving and life-transforming relationships. To have a role model doesn't mean knowing if we are greater than our master or our master is greater than us. Jesus invites us as disciples, meaning this call to become a disciple of Christ is having a deeper relationship with him. Jesus wants us to be alive and life giver. And in order to be life giving, we are invited to follow him. And it means keeping our mind, heart, and spirit focused on what he does. We are invited to always listen attentively to his words, especially in our Eucharistic celebration. The second invitation of Jesus in our gospel today is that Jesus says that we should not be afraid. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. I believe you would agree with me that this past two years, in times of pandemic, we've experienced different levels or severity of fear. Fear of losing our life, fear of losing our loved ones, fear of losing our work. But it's quite challenging really to to read this from time to time in our gospel that jesus will always say or jesus always says do not be afraid brothers and sisters as jesus followers our task is to seek inner freedom by overcoming our fears we have so many attachments and some of these attachments are not really life-giving and sometimes these at this disordered attachments hinder us to live our life fully. So Jesus tells us that God the Father will always take care of us, that He knows us 
very intimately and will never abandon us. To follow Jesus involves persecution, suffering, sorrows. And this invitation of Jesus Christ, this reminder on how to live out our Christian faith life, reminds me of one of the wisdom of our founder, St. Arnold Jansen. This wisdom of St. Arnold Jansen has been my like a, a survival weapon throughout my formation for the past 10 years as SVD. St. Arnold says, Our goal is not to have a life that is free from sorrows, but to bear heavy burdens by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let us, in union with Jesus, endure burdens to bear fruit of the kingdom. Endure burden to bear fruit of the kingdom. I invite you, sisters and brothers, to think about your own suffering, your own challenges, trials in life, and how these trials, challenges in life lead you to discover the fruit of your faith in Christ. Because faith in Jesus Christ is a total human experience. We cannot say that we are Christians if what we experience is always joy. It is not something to practice only on Sundays. Faith without action is dead. Faith involves revealing everything to Jesus, surrendering everything to Jesus. Kaya naman po, kung meron tayong mga tinatago-tago sa ating buhay, I think this is now the time to begin revealing what we want Jesus to heal inside our hearts. And lastly, Jesus reminds us of our self-worth. You are worth more than many sparrows. To seek self-worth entails recognizing and embracing ourselves as human beings created in God's image and likeness. That we have God who knows everything. We have God who loves us. In this uh, time of digital revolution, our Catholic Church, our faith community, faces several challenges on how to see our self-worth. Marami na po mga kabataan ngayon at mga pamilya na nasisira dahil po sa distorted uh, values that the society offers us. And it's interesting that Jesus reminds us of our self-worth using the, the, the image of sparrow. The sparrow was one of the smallest and cheapest of creatures in the market. And yet, the Father's attentive and protective care extends to it also. So this simple image reassures us that no matter how small, vulnerable, and insignificant we may feel at times, we are always supported and valued by a loving, caring God. So dearest sisters and brothers, let us take this opportunity this weekend, this Saturday, to think about these three things in the perspective or through the lens of Jesus Christ about our relationship, our way of living out, embracing our freedom, and to share our self-worth. Once again, as St. Arnold reminds me and reminds our, our community, we know that we cannot solve all problems with the strength we now possess. But we hope that the dear God, the Father, will grant us all that is necessary for us to do. For we know God is there, and we always know where we can find God, where God allows himself to be found, and is waiting for us. We are Jesus' followers, disciples, let us reveal to Christ the innermost desire of our mind, heart, and spirit. Amen.